to me is the one thing I care about. Is like I want more Breath of the Wild two news. Give me the twenty, the Zelda, you know, thirty five anniversary. Give me the shirts, the collabs. Give me all that. That's what I'm here for. Um, but we'll see, man. Uh, unfortunately, we won't know what two characters will remain. A lot of people think there's going to be two characters announced tomorrow. I think there's only going to be one, and the final character will be something that was like a Christmas thing. Um, but who knows? I'm I'm thinking we'll get like another Nintendo property character and not a crossover character. I'm hoping for a Zelda character because it's a Zelda 35th anniversary, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, so far, there is a lot of anniversaries happening here, and of course, this is the anniversary for Ven of possibly getting another victory from MSM because he got one last week. Um, I wasn't I wasn't looking last week, but uh, one thing, can you uh, screen share real quick so I can see? The oh yeah. Please? We're getting into the first match right now. Uh, I don't know how to say this. But uh, Ben getting back up the stage. And right now, uh, the Shulk has the smash art. And keeping Ben off stage, but of course, you can't get too aggressive because that, uh, Zelda's recovery is kind of annoying. Getting up the, fa uh, the Phantom. Oh, uh, mistiming it. You, trying to use an up tilt gets launched off the stage. And right now, Ven is just, uh, he's charging his phantom right now. All right, nice use, uh, and then using the side special with the dash attack. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a really overzealous for it, Smash. Unfortunately, there's a little bit too much analog on that one, and that's a free grab for Ven, and the punish with that as well. Uh, Buntai fan going random at the start. Maybe not the best choice, but who knows, man. Maybe somebody subbed to him on his on his Switch stream, and he's kind of forced to go the character. Nonetheless, this is kind of a matchup Shulk is really strong in just because he's able to kind of like, in a funny sense, outspace Zelda, but also be super aggressive towards her and, and still be able to outspace her. And that's the thing about Shulk altogether, too. He can kind of survive Zelda's antics, but also go around them, too. He's one of those characters that just, like I said, on I've said it so many times, on paper, he's probably one of the most broken characters in the game. He just requires a lot of execution to be able to do so. Uh, so for Buntai fan, at least getting a stock off, not too bad, but you know what? At least he kind of gets to scope out the scene and see how Ven plays on his next return here, because that return from Ven back on the stage was really strong. Yeah, one thing that you can always do is uh, you can uh, always trust that Van uh, Phantom when you're playing as a Zelda. One thing that I don't see uh, Ven doing a lot, a nice up throw to uh, finish off that last stock, but one thing I don't see him doing a lot is like, I believe there's a way that you can like use your momentum of jumping and then charging up the phantom but you can go like behind the phantom like when yeah. you're midair I don't see that a lot but at the same time I have heard that it's hard to do but it is very useful if you do do it all right so Buntai fan has let me know in the chat oh in the smash gg chat yeah. <laughs> he said, Ben said, hold on, keep going random. I'm gonna go Isabel. And Buntai Fan has been going random the whole bracket. By the way, this is not winner's quarter, this is actually winner's semis. Uh, today we've actually started here in top top eight. So this is kind of a bit of a change as opposed to before. So yeah, Buntai Fan gonna stay on random and Ven will go Isabel. I'm curious to see this character because I've never heard or have ever seen Ven go Isabel. And now I'm curious how. Ben's Isabel plays. Jeez, Buntai found Drew the best card. Alright, it looks like Ven is going Isabel. I, this is going to be interesting, I'm going to be honest, but Buntai fan is uh, really taking it to the next level of using random. I've never seen anyone do random in a, in a, I guess, in a bracket that I've been in, but dang, that side smash is in, really good with that reach. And using those nares in the back air, yeah, you got you can't get caught up in those nares because those nares can combo really well. That's also Sephiroth's fastest aerial, so you got to be careful. Yeah, oh, all... popping the balloons. All right, I was gonna say Ven might have to change his recovery angle, just specifically how Sephiroth plays. Altogether, this is kind of not too bad for Ven. He has, 
he has a lot to work for, but also a lot to work against him because specifically Sephiroth's just high damage, but also the same space in which Isabel wants to operate, Sephiroth can do so well. So it's one of those things of like, cool, does, is, Ven is never really safe. That forward tilt, a lot of knockback, but not enough to take care of Ven though. Really stuff on Bunt I find to be aggressive and still get that semi ledge trump off the stage. And I say that semi because you know what? Ven was, gonna, was not going to have the chance to touch the ledge at all. Oh, getting hit by the slingshot. Oh, and Ven mistiming the down special with the Lloyd rocket. Oh, and setting up another one right there uh, on stage. So just in case Buntai fan does a roll, he will get hit by it. And now I can see Ven doing a little bit more spacing than usual with his aerials, which is a uh, really good. But Buntai fan is still at three stocks, which is a uh, kind of insane. But I mean, Sephiroth's a really good character if you know how to execute his combos and moves, because. He might be a lightweight, but his sword, if you can get the part, like, the sweet spot, oh man, it is powerful. Yeah, and that's the thing too, is like Sephiroth's, like, range altogether is really scary. Coupled by his solid movement, you have to really respect them at all times. It's kind of like, you have to wait for him to strike and really respect them. And even when you're far away from him, you're never really that far, because he's got the, he's honestly... What they did was they added a boss character to this game. That's essentially what they did. Yep. Dang. And Buntai fan pulling the three stock from right under Ben's feet. Ben's feet. And ah, I think he's gonna change back to Zelda. I think that Isabel might have been a mistake. It's it's not. No, it's not. It's not Ben's fault. Like he had the right idea of like, all right, cool. Let me go, Isabel. It's gonna be fine. But Buntai actually drew. Sephiroth out of all the cards and then Ven was like, oh shoot, I, I I think I should just go back. It's not his fault though. He had he had the right call. You know, he said, cool, if he's gonna go random, I guess I'll go Isabel, but that's fine. You know what happens? It happens. Uh people yeah. in the chat will always be asking me, when does MSM offline return? Honestly, it's gonna be I don't know when. I cannot give you the exact date, like, oh, you know, I'm gonna give you guys a random date. Um January January 3rd MSM online returns like no, I, that's not the date. You know, I can't give anybody the exact date I I can never I can never tell so I'm gonna be honest with you. I myself don't even know as a 2gg member Three, two, one, uh, But just know that we will come back when once we fail that it is safe to do so So give us some times man. Give us some time yeah, because uh, everywhere is opening at different times uh, on the 15th, so you guys, we're not going to know until we get the okay pretty much. Exactly. And to those off asking me like, oh, why does so-and-so get to have offline? I'm like, it's different. Different states have different regulations, and different regulations exist in different areas. For California, we have to abide by those regulations, even if we don't like them, you know? And some of them don't have to abide by any regulations because they're different. So it all depends on the state. Uh, just honestly check with your TOs or on your Twitters and you'll be able to see when your um, nearest local has come back for offline. All right, we're getting uh, into the match now. Uh, both players are at three stocks and we're doing a smash reel. Um, uh, angling that uh, side special upwards and getting the using the attack get up to, uh, I guess, it wasn't really a trade, but it was like hitting each other, hitting himself and the Phantom at the perfect time. But Buntai Fan is doing pretty well with this Corrin. Uh, I've never seen like a really good Corrin ever in Ultimate. It's not really good. But, yeah. It's because it's, it's they're a rarity, you know, like it, Corrin's toolkit in 4 was impressive. But the problem was like the change from four to ultimate did not bode well for Corrin, and it left Corrin in a really awkward spot. Corrin was actually one of those characters we coincidentally saw get a lot of buffs before quarantine, and then quarantine happened, and then it was like cool. Quarantine alongside with Corrin and Byleth, they made those two characters basically really hard, difficult to play because of execution and um, of course the latency. But we'll see, man. Now that I offline mean, is pretty much coming back, this is a character that I do do see doing pretty solid ass. But also, there's just another plethora of characters that do the same as Corrin, but even better, like Sephiroth. Like Corrin, Corrin was oh no, the unfortunate 
directional air dodge. But yeah, as you were saying, like Corn does have long range, but there's characters that can do the same thing but better, as you said. Yeah, and you have to evaluate like how in in certain metas some or in some matchups, Corn may be the better option, but in, uh, most of the time you just can't be there yet. Uh, for Van, honestly, just knowing how this character still has to play within a spacious game around Zelda, he knows I can still go ahead and play the same chess game that I've been playing with my character and then add that against Corrin, who has to kind of be within a certain distance of my range, which can be pretty long. And Corrin will suffer a little bit on that far. But so far here, Buntai Fine finally able to get some aerials close enough with the back air, not enough. Van back on the stage and the knight gets sent out a little bit early just to catch Buntai Fan on the slip up there on the get up. At, uh, charging up that neutral B and using the side special. Oh, and using the down tilt to up air uh, to get a little bit of damage in. Uh, nice use of uh, using that uh, double jump from ledge and using a nair. Getting uh, back to stage with that dare right there. Uh, shielding the phantom, but it went right. Uh, it crossed him up, which is kind of interesting. It didn't damage his shield, and that side smash is... Uh, with the confusion of the Phantom is going to get uh, Bunte fans the last stock. Yeah. Um, like I said, like Korn still has to operate within Zelda's range. Um, it's You want to picture characters like Korin, Marth, and even Balath to a degree uh, as having a circle around their range, and that circle, that little bubble in which they can operate, happens to be a little bit too close to Zelda, in which, like, all right, cool, like, I can still space you out with Knight and all these other moves. You have to be really cautious in the area. Most of the time, you want to smother Zelda as much as possible before she can have the opportunities to use things like Knight, Din's Fire, and Nehru's Love. But for Buntai fan, it's really difficult. I think that's why I tell people, like, Korin and Byleth are two characters that are ridiculously strong, but the hardest part is like the execution and those little niche things. It's not that good on Wi-Fi versus on Wi-Fi. There's a lot that you have to really worry about and react to. And having the reaction with those characters goes a lot hand in hand because you're able to effectively space more, but also you're also you're also effectively able to uh, get get most of the combos you're looking for, especially with a character like Korn. But Van is going to be the one going on Korn. And now we're seeing Buntai Fan on the uh, Wii Fit Trainer of all characters. I mean, oh, starting off with the deep breathing right off the bat, very, uh, just to get that upper hand and get that extra damage in. But one thing that uh, Buntai fan does have to be careful about is that uh, the soccer ball will damage himself if it does get hit back. So he does have to be careful about that. But overall, I mean, since Corrin doesn't have a reflector or anything, uh, he can use his projectiles at will uh, if he really needs to. Oh, Getting hit so by close. that neutral special and using deep breathing to slow his fall and get that uh, buff. Ooh, was trying to do the double jump with the soccer ball. Getting stuck on the ledge, but I think he te teched again. No, that's, yeah, oh, you can't. That was unteckable. Yeah, I was going to say, this is actually a character I have heard Ven use before and has practiced in for some matchups. I think even in Smash 4 and even Ultimate to a degree. So I'm not surprised Ven having a corn and actually going corn is. But I will admit, I just never seen Ven's core as a whole. I've heard of it, never seen it in action. But now you can. This is the first thing. This is the first time for everything. Oh yeah, first time we'll see Ven go into MSM without going <laughs> Zelda into Grand Final, into Winners Semis. I would, I wouldn't say Winners Finals almost, because uh, he's pretty much a two-one against Buntai Fan. Buntai Fan here uh, having Ven at 156. He is just one solid hit from Wii Fit Trainer with these buffs that the character does have with each deep breathing and sun salutation, but man, Ven just knows if I keep the distance and the pressure, I never have to worry about anything from Wii Fit. Charging up that sun salutation right there, and was trying to go for a fair, and mistiming the air dodge and getting hit by that back air. Oh, well, it's not looking really good for Buntai fan right now, but as you said, I uh, since not many people have seen, uh, have seen Ven's uh, core, and it's actually doing surprisingly well at this point, uh, good call. Uh, I would actually it's kind of luck because random at that point. But I mean, just to switch it up a little bit. I mean, I, I guess you could see it was a good call against the Wii Fit trainer. Yeah, I mean, it's all Ven's opportunity. Like he knows, even though I don't have Zelda in my in, as the character right now, it's just that mental 
strength that you've had of like, all right, cool, I know how how to still play. So he's going back to his fundamentals. And his fundamentals with this character that is Corrin, he's doing really strong. I mean, he pretty much gave Bunte Fan, and he's giving Bunte Fan still a lot to work for because he hasn't had a break at all. Like, Ven just knows how to be there with Pin. He knows how to be there with each aerial. He knows how to be there with that forward smash particularly just because of where Bunte Fan might be on the getup. Oh, nice use of the dash attack right there. And right now, Ven is sitting at a very high percentage, getting hit by that side B and using deep breathing, getting hit by the side smash. Ooh, just good thing he fast fell there. And using that side tilt, yeah, we fit side tilt is no joke, especially with deep breathing. Not at all. Using the uh, sun salutation, getting, with, getting the jabs in. Ooh, was trying to go for the spike. I can see that. And getting hit by the side B. Good DI there. He's going to hopefully see if he can live another day using the... Uh, oh, that, that was attackable. I saw the red. That was attackable. Yeah. I was going to say, like, the chat says it pretty right. Like, it's not that Ven is also just good with Zelda, but he's good in this matchup. And he definitely goes to show how good he is in this matchup overall.